What the heck is going on guys? My name is Bucky Roberts and welcome to your very first video in building an awesome freaking Ajax chat room. So this is actually the chat room that we're going to be building and as you can see it's very basic. I actually based this off some source code that I found from a book Ajax and PHP building responsive web applications. It's an awesome book. Go buy it if you don't have it. But anyways, in these tutorial series, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to build this Ajax based chat room. And of course, you do need some knowledge of Ajax. So if you never worked with it before, then please click on the link below the new boston.org. I made an entire video series about Ajax teaching the beginners you know the very basic stuff so like I said if you have no idea what Ajax is or never worked with it before then please watch those videos and once you're done with those you'll be good to go so here is the application right here and there's some cool features but of course it's very simple I didn't want to add too many features because right now it's very easy to integrate into your own web application so let me go ahead and show you guys you know a quick tour of it basically you know of course you text like um hi my name is Bucky and of course you can spell stuff wrong if you want to and press enter or you can press send and then of course it goes to the database and just to show you guys that this actually does work I have my iPad right here and I am pretending to be someone named Emily so let me go ahead and send that message and of course I typed STFU on my iPad and you know my cursor is right here and I'm typing on my iPad he 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 whatever send so boom there you go and this can have unlimited amount of people or you can set it just as a private chat one on one and some other cool features is that you can change your name from guest whatever to Bucky you can also change your text color to let's say red this is red now and you know some very simple features so like I said it's a very simple yet very awesome amazing Ajax chat so let's go ahead and get started and figure out how to program this bad boy now of course all of these messages are working with PHP and MySQL so we are actually storing all of these messages and all of this information in a database so let's go ahead and make that database first and also we need to make a user that can access that database so I actually got a small account on HostGator but you can really use anything you can even test it out on your local machine but uh, you know it's really easy just buy like a hosting account for like three dollars a month now if you click on my SQL databases then it says go ahead and create a new database and you guys should know how to do this already um hopefully but if you never work with MySQL databases with um, you know the control panel I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now so there was the testing database that I made before chat chat one but for these tutorials I'm just gonna name this chat and press create database and you actually want to save this information so actually if I do this database chat I'm gonna save it in a file and we want to save this because we need the information later on whenever we're programming so my database is called Bucky underscore chat now I'm gonna go back and now I have to make a user to access that database so Bucky I'm just gonna name my user chat and I'm gonna generate a random password copy I've copied this in a safe place use password and create user so the user is called Bucky underscore chat so that's the user and the password is this And by the way when I'm done with this uh, tutorial I'm gonna change the password because I don't trust you guys and you guys are probably gonna try to hack my database so that is basically um, how to do it and I'm actually gonna show you guys how to make the config file and then I'm gonna change my password but anyways go back and now we have a database created and we also have a user but the user doesn't have access to that database yet you need to give that user access to your database manually and this is how you do it scroll down and you're going to see add user to database find the user that you just created Bucky chat in the database 
Bucky Chat. Probably shouldn't name those, you know, the same thing, but we did Effet and Adam. Now, not Adam like, you know, a person named Adam, but add him or her to the database, depending on if your computer's male or female. Now, typically what you want to do is you only want to give them the privileges that you need, but just for this tutorial, I'm going to keep things simple. Go ahead and give them all privileges, make changes, boom, roasted. So now this user was added to the database. Now you can go ahead and access it and our PHP database is almost set up. We just have to add a table real quick. But before we do that, I actually want to show you guys how to make the config file. So I already made a single file um, before I even started making this tutorial and that's my config file. And this is basically the file that establishes a connection to the database. So this is how you make that. Of course it's a PHP file and you guys probably have done this uh, plenty of times before but you know for anyone who this is how you properly set it up even if you've done it before then it's good to watch. So the first thing you want to do is define a couple things actually. The first thing is DB host and this is just a local host and anytime you have a script and it's just running locally on the server because this PHP file it's not going to run on your computer it's going to run on the server and of course our database is also on that server so that's why you can type localhost instead of specifying you know the IP address of the server so we're actually going to want to define three more things one two three so we have the host which pretty much says what server do you want to connect to well the same server that our PHP files on and the next thing that you want to do is you want to define a user and that's just the username which was Bucky Chat and now you want to define the password and that was just this thing right here the password and the last thing you want to define is of course the database name and the database was also Bucky Chat so there you go and there is your config file so go ahead and actually you want to delete this first and save it so now our config file is set up the only other thing that we have to do is we need to make a table in the database so that you know whenever we're typing messages of course these have to be stored in a table inside your database so that's what we're going to be doing in the next video but for now thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video